have worked on so many sloped backyards and the transformations are unbelievable. You're gonna see that in this video, but we're gonna to talk to you all about the solutions to dealing with your sloped backyards and how you can make them the oasis that you want. So when you're thinking about designing your outdoor living space in a sloped backyard, you may wonder, how will we ever do it? We all want to walk out on a flat surface with a destination spot to head out to. But many of us give up before we even start, never realizing that retaining walls are the solution. By excavating the slope and retaining it, you can create a practical and beautiful solution. We have just the property in mind to show you how some homeowners, in collaboration with our designers, came up with the backyard living space of their dreams. It's the Sherman job from California and they purchased a home here in Oregon. They looked at so many houses and they were surprised at how few homes had outdoor areas. They wanted to be able to get outdoors like they had in California. Listen to what they had to say. You know, having lived in California for the last 20 years, we were used to outdoor spaces. And you know, I told her that it's got to either have a view, be on a lake, yeah. or be on a river. Yeah. One yeah. of those three things. And can I add that we looked at a lot of houses when we came up and bid on many, and not many have outdoor areas. Yeah. It's kind of rare up here. I don't know why, but it surprised me how many people don't do their backyard. We knew that living in Oregon wasn't going to be the <laughs> yeah. same, so we needed to have some shelter and some heat. And so we started thinking about how could we uh, lay this out in a way that we would have a nice uh, stable platform to, uh, to entertain. You know, it's a sloped yard, pretty sloped, as you found Very out. Very <laughs> so, so the idea was yeah. to terrace it and put in the retaining walls. So. so let's check out what we saw once we turned the corner into this backyard. Our first look at this property, as you can see, it had quarter inch minus gravel everywhere. Sloped pathways, bark dust, a few boulders, a few retaining walls. It did have some trees that were strategically placed for the neighbor privacy. You can see the semi-enclosed view deck was added with exposed wood. It had a stairway and railing. This was a small space and it made it hard to even fit two people. Below the deck, there was a storage space that was a really an unattractive catch-all. So there was a narrow strip of flat space that connected two gravel patio areas. There was a main rounded patio area that houses a, just a tiny little fire pit. And then there was a second rounded gravel patio that was up near the neighbor's windows. So when I first went and looked at this yard, it was one of those yards that you think, what can you do? It has such a beautiful view that you want to enhance, but you definitely want to get the homeowner outside using the space. So as you look at this, it was completely sloped down. There was a few little spots that we could maybe put some area for outdoor living. But what we really knew from the start is we needed to retain, we needed to create level space. We had a, a Zoom consultation where you told me about the process and then we talked about you know getting the designers out here. Your designers are first rate, they do great work. Yeah. And um, they came out and put together something we couldn't say yeah, no to. Right. <laughs> no. And, and you yeah. know, we'll keep those drawings. Yeah. They're kind of fun to have. And, yeah. You know, you can pull them out and show people. And, as you heard, the designers came back with the 3D design plans. Let's take a look at those designs that they came up with right here. I want to talk to you about what it was like a little bit from the construction perspective on this project and this was a challenge you guys in fact we almost lost our machine we almost have it tumbled down the hillside it was scary it was wet it was muddy and my machine was sliding and so you want to take this into consideration when you're doing a project like this be very safety conscious, think safety first. So the biggest challenge of this project was trying to carve out the hillside to do that bocce ball court. So when we started moving earth, it was a massive amount of soil that we had to take out here. And that was a little bit unforeseen. It required a few meetings with myself and my project overseer and my team to come up with some solutions on how to do the work. It was difficult to do this project because we are in the middle of winter, the rainy season, and here we are slipping and sliding on a hillside trying to get this earth dug out. There were some, there were some rough patches that yeah. were building those walls and uh, you know slopping around in the mud back there. Oh, but. Man. 
maybe just let the viewers know what it took to slope this yeah. land, this was, hill. Yeah, it, well, obviously uh, it was more than you guys expected and it was certainly more than we expected. Well, and one problem was getting the equipment down yes. because we couldn't come up. Yeah. And then another huge challenge was that fire pit patio. It's hard to notice, but that was on the highest point of the backyard. So we had to retain all of that above the bocce ball retaining wall. So if you look there above the retaining wall, we have boulders set into the earth to try to retain that patio. So because we had the retaining for the bocce ball court with solid walls, and I didn't wanna just add more retaining walls, I wanted to break it up a little bit, and I thought the boulders were a great touch, they were the proper strength that we needed to retain that patio, but it looked a lot nicer than a solid wall all the way up to that patio. Also a challenge getting the hot tub to the backyard. As you can imagine, we're on a sloped area. You had very small windows on either side of the house to be able to get that hot tub back, but we were able to do it, but it took a lot of creativity and a lot of muscle. So look at what we've done here. We took completely unusable space, a hillside with trees all around, limbs all around, completely dead space to look at what we've done here. We might need to take this whole bush out and this is gonna basically be our main access. Really try to work with getting some pretty, uh, you know, good elevations, you know, maybe bring the laser because this is the area that they want to work with. The very, very back, they have two little ones and they want to maximize space. They're thinking about a sport court, which is awesome. So I'd like to get the wall as close, you know, down by that tree as possible, build a four foot wall, and then we're gonna level as much as we can here. So grab this elevation right by the tree, and then grab, you know, about four feet is where we're gonna try to get that, that, um, that wall to, and then turn this whole area up here into a big sport court, and then either here, have like a playground area so that would be destination right there for the kiddos to play um, and then from up here it would basically be this whole area is something else we want to work on you can see that there's some major uh, elevations here this is a huge slope and there's that that kind of that fence that I was showing you from the other side but basically this whole area we want to turn into kind of semi-usable space. So we could do some terracing here to just, you know, get some level area. Maybe even do a stairway from access for the front. We'll have a nice, really nice space right there. There's another view as you look down uh, of the potential of the play, play area over here, which we court right here. Just to let you know, this area is going to be created into a like a three season gym with a sauna. We have a swing set here. We've actually prepped this area for a sport court in the future. They have very young kids right now, but they knew that with the swing set and in a few years we do the sport court. So it's all prepped and ready for that. But look what we've done behind me here. We've taken that completely dead space underneath the deck. Now look what we have. We have a whole workout room that is completely weather tight, ready for them no matter what the season is to run in there, have a workout, take a sauna, and really turn that dead space into completely usable, livable space. So look at what we've done here. We've turned unusable sloped landscape into a staircase to heaven, so to speak. It really is a very sloped area, but we were able to find a way to give us some stair. We just used PT, pressure treated lumber here, four by four, and we were able to just fill it with gravel in between, gave us a nice staircase all the way up to this, the top. So really don't underestimate what you can do, even on a sloped area, you can usually get creative and find a way to get a pathway or a staircase up to the top side. So I want to take you on a little walk with me through the construction of each of these items. So take a look at the structure that we have here. This is our main area, a main living space with the view. So within that structure, we had the fireplace, beautiful angled fireplace, maximizing the view. We have the outdoor kitchen and the dining area, the pathways that connect all of the spaces throughout the landscape. We have this enclosed under deck shed, 
We have the fencing here for the dogs as well as the trellis over by the bocce ball court. Of course, we had all those retaining walls and we actually put a garden in with some of those retaining walls. Here we have the hot tub. In my opinion, it was in the best location. It really was the hub of the space connecting all of the individual spaces together. And here we have the bocce ball court. In fact, listen to what the homeowner said about the bocce ball court. We always loved having bocce courts. Mm -hmm. We've kind of gotten to be bocce players. Yeah. And what, what material is, is the playing floor? You decompose granite and you want to get pretty small. You, know, you can decompose granite with big chunks or small chunks. So you want it pretty small. decomposed. And then we still are going to put a layer of ground up oyster shell on there. And, and that gets mixed in with the DG and it makes a really nice smooth surface. And here we have the fire pit area with the solo stove. Let's take a look at what the homeowner said about the solo stove. <laughs> yeah, I've sold a lot of solo stoves. Um, they are, if you're going to have a, a wood, wood burning fire pit, I highly recommend it. It's, um, it's smokeless in the sense that it has uh, complete combustion. So you have air that comes in from the bottom and then up on top. So what happens, smoke is just, is just you know, not completely burned. That's why you get smoke. It's because you have stuff that didn't burn and it's coming up in the air. So when that air oxygen comes over the top, it causes that residual to burn and you really don't get any smoke. So you can sit there, it's also very hot. Now we have the show and tell portion of this video. It's the after shots of the finished project with a fabulous view from every destination spot. It had user-friendly pathways and boulder steps down that connected everything together. Beautiful stroll through the landscape, at destinations at every elevation. What's your favorite part uh, of the of the backyard? Probably the structure area. Mm -hmm. yeah. is great. Just because I know in the winter we can still come out. And that was one hard part about moving to California is suddenly being in the house. <laughs> so just to be able to even come out if it's raining, you can feel like you can get outside. Yeah. So that was important. Yeah, yeah I, I just love what it's done to the house. Yeah. You know, uh, it's you know great. yeah. Because uh, we added yeah. a lot of value in this. A lot of ambiance and also useful space. So thank you for joining us about Slope Backyard Design Solutions. Take a look at this property. You will love it. It's all about the transformation of a huge slope front yard. We are here to help and there's always a solution.